Robert Van Royen last updated 1642 22nd of June 2018 Getty Images All Blacks Captain Sam Whitelock will play his 99th test on Saturday night. Diane Manson, Getty Shannon Frazal is one of four uncapped players in the All Blacks for Saturday night's match against France. Andrew C. O. R. N. A. G. A. P. H. O. T. O. S. P. O. R. T. Rookie Santa Jack Goodhue will start against France on Saturday night. Getty Images Lock Jackson Hemafar's inclusion on the bench was the biggest surprise when All Blacks coach Steve Hansen named his team earlier this week. Getty Images first five Richie Moanga is set to make his test debut off the bench on Saturday night. Rugby keep cool and stay calm, but don't stray from your natural game, that's the message from Captain Sam Whitelock to the crop of players set to make their All Blacks debuts against France in Dunedin on Saturday night. Whitelock, who will play his 99th test, has four uncapped players to keep an eye on, including flanker Shannon Frazal and centre Jack Goodhue, who will both start. First five Richie Moanga and Locke Jackson Hema 4 will come off the bench. The biggest challenge for any person going into a new team, especially the All Blacks, is playing the natural game. They've been selected for a reason. The good footballers, so hopefully they just go out and play the natural game, White Lock said. Read more asterisk abs tip to lose to box asterisk mass changes for All Blacks asterisk top. Talking points, French finale asterisk checker, this is our grand final asterisk ref had two options on fall, world rugby, those guys are super excited, as we all were in our first, and we still are. It actually probably makes my job easier, they're so enthusiastic, to learn and to do well. If anything, you've got just got to tell them to relax a little bit. The All Blacks wrapped up preparations for the final match of the three-test series with the captain's run at Forsyth Bar Stadium on Friday afternoon. Whitelock labelled the week's preparation as pretty good. Although similar stuff was said ahead of last weekend's ragged win in the second test in Wellington, while the All Blacks are favoured to wrap up the series 3-0, you get the feeling the public won't accept anything but a razor-sharp performance and a convincing win. Add feedback another bumbling performance will only stoke the fire of people such as South African. Rugby pundit Mark Ewing, who has already predicted the All Blacks will finish behind the Springboks and Wallabies in this year's rugby championship, we need to go out and play well, Whitelock said when asked if his team needed to make a statement, no matter what's applied to us from outside, it's us on the inside that are really driving it. I'm excited to see what the boys can come up with. The All Blacks leadership group hasn't hid the fact they didn't adjust to the French tactics and match circumstances in Wellington, something Whitelock reiterated from a captain's point of view on the eve of the third test, a couple of things. I've got to keep getting better the whole time. With the captaincy, making sure no matter what happens, if we're up and down ourselves with the yellow cards, we have a good plan, that's something we probably weren't quite as sharp as we needed to be last week. The other thing Whitelock stressed was the importance of not getting ahead of themselves, no matter how tempting it was to go wide early and often under the lid. In other words, the All Blacks need to dig in at the breakdown, with and without the ball here, because the ground is always hard and the weather is nice and still. If you give teams fast ball, it's very, very hard to stop them. I'm sure both sides will be putting a lot of energy into that area and it will be interesting to see how it goes compared to last week stuff.